the god tier battle chaos dark magician deck this deck is absolutely powerful without further ado let's begin what is going on youtube it's your boy sam from team samurai x when you're happy thursday Guys, it's Thursday. Today, I'm coming at you guys with a top-tier Dark Magician deck profile. This deck profile is post-Battle of Chaos with the new support. The deck just keeps getting better and better. So guys, in today's deck profile, I'm going to showcase you guys card by card of what I play in my deck and showcase you guys two bread and butter combos that you guys want to utilize when it comes to playing the brand new Dark Magician deck for 2022. Before we begin, any new deck profiles you guys would like to see, make sure you guys leave it in the comment section below. And for those of you here on the channel for the very first time, hi guys, my name is Sam from Team Xamar X1, and you guys are probably here for Master Duel, but not only is this channel dedicated to Master Duel, but it's also dedicated to everything Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG. Deck profiles, hack openings, duel videos, you name it. Okay, guys, so I really hope you guys enjoyed this competitive Dark Magician deck profile. But before we begin, tomorrow is the live box break for Battle of Chaos, so if you guys haven't gotten your booster box yet, make sure you guys get it today in the link down below. Spots are very limited. I'll see you guys tomorrow on the box break, and also, tomorrow, I'm dropping my limited edition valentine's day deck box only 150 of these are going to be available save the date 9 p.m est is the live drop during the box break tomorrow and i actually have the deck box on me right now let me just do a little sneak peek you know what i'm saying so here we go guys valentine's day rose edition deck box <sighs> Guys, double deck box, absolutely beautiful, guys. Oh, you guys get the exclusive TX1 leather divider right here. You know what I'm saying? And of course, inside is the beautiful, sexy Rose Girl. So guys, make sure you guys save the date. 9 p.m. EST tomorrow. Stay tuned. All right, guys, I won't waste any more time. Without further ado, let's get started with the brand new Dark Magician deck profile, post-battle chaos. Let's begin. All right, guys, some of the monster real quick. Gonna play, of course, double copies of Dark Magician right here. Only two copies is needed for any competitive Dark Magician based decks. Three can be a little bit cloggy. So two is the perfect ratio in my personal opinion. I've been play testing this deck for years now and I find that two is just the perfect number. So two copies Dark Magician. Next off for your one, I was gonna play of course the one red eyes B Dragon. This card right here is for Dragoon. You can send it to the graveyard using Predator Plant Very Anaconda. And obviously the one Dark Magician girl. So that way you can access Pot of Greed every single turn aka soul servant to draw you two cards magician souls will dump dark magician girl to the graveyard and then predator plant Verde anaconda will dump the dark magician in the grave so that way that your soul servant can draw two cards every single turn so dark magician girl and red eyes is absolutely necessary to play any dark magician based decks next off for your brand new support you're gonna play of course three copies of the brand new ritual monster illusion of chaos this card is absolutely broken if you guys don't know what this card does it has the ability that reads you can ritual summon this card with chaos form and you can also use secrets of dark magic to ritual summon into this card as well but the most important effect what it does is that you can reveal this card in your hand add one dark magician or one non-ritual monster that mentions it from your deck to your hand then place one card from your hand to the top of your deck so basically it searches your entire monster lineup you can search dark magician it can search Magician's Rod, it can search Magician's Souls, it can search Tamias, literally searches any monster directly from your deck to your hand. So essentially with the addition of three Illusion of Chaos, you're playing six copies of Magician's Rod, six copies of Magician's Souls, you're playing five copies of Dark Magician. This card is so good and it makes the deck super duper consistent and you must maximize someone actually playing three copies of this card and if this card is on the field and if you're able to successfully ritual summon this card it has an amazing ability where it reads that when your opponent activates a monster effect quick effect you can return this card to the hand and if you do special and dark magician from your graveyard and if you do that negate that activated effect so basically it's a monster negate which bounces itself to the hand and special and dark magician in the graveyard and the reason why this is so good is because dark magical circle is one of your main interruptions during your opponent's turn. If you don't have access to Eternal Soul, Illusion of Chaos becomes your second option to special summon Dark Magician from the graveyard, so that way you can trigger off Dark Magical Circle during your opponent's turn, and at the same time, they're getting a monster effect, which is really powerful. So if you can get it out, it's really broken, but the main effect that you want to utilize with this card is the searchability to get consistent access to Magician Souls and also your Magician's Rod. So three copy of Illusion, absolutely mandatory to play in the deck next off for your starters obviously you want to play three copies of magician's rod obviously one of the most broken cards in the entire deck so just all your dark magician spells or traps uh, directly from your deck to your hand and you can always cycle this card during your opponent's turn to add itself from the grave uh, to the hand which is absolutely phenomenal so three rod very standard 
Next off, of course, three copies of Magician Souls. This card is so good. Dump Stark, Magician Girls in the Graveyard. You can also dump Illusion of Chaos in the Grave as well, uh, which is pretty nice. So you have infinite targets for Magician Souls now. Also, at the same time, it draws card and also gets access to Dark Magician Girl. That way, you can draw two cards every single turn using Soul Servant's ability. So three copies of Souls. And the last monster you're playing in the deck is the brand new monster, Demise, the United Dragon. What this card does is really simple. It's a Dragon Polymerization, which is searchable of Illusion of Chaos. And what it does is that you can send one spell caster monster or one spawn trap card that mentions Dark Magician from your hand or face up on the field to the graveyard to special this card from your hand. And during the main phase, you can fusion summon one fusion monster from your extra deck using monsters in your hand or field as material, including a spell caster monster. So this card right here is a walking polymerization. It can get you access to Dragoons super duper consistently without having to utilize Red Eyes Fusion. And the fact that it can make two Dragoons in one turn is just absolutely scary. So very, very powerful. I recommend you guys playing this card in your deck 100,000%. Next off for the spells, we're going to play three copies of Dark Magical Circle. You guys already know what this card does. It's a part of duality for the deck and gets access to, of course, any of your Dark Magician card that you excavate. And with Axe Soul Servant, it guarantees that you're never going to miss with Dark Magical Circle. And the main effect that you want to utilize with this card is that it's an interruption every single turn with Eternal Soul and also Illusion and Chaos if you're able to trigger off its effect to revive back Dark Magician from the grave. So Dark Magical Circle, really amazing card. Next off, your Pot of Greed, Soul Servant. Really great. Stacks any Dark Magician type card directly to the top of your deck. Banish two, uh, and you can banish this card from your graveyard. Depending on the amount of Dark Magician or Dark Magician grow in the grave, you draw X amount of cards. If you have one Dark Magician in the graveyard, you draw one. If you have Dark Magician, Dark Magician grow in the grave, you draw two, which is insane. So next off, you want to play the One Magician Salvation. This card is really great. It's a free feel spell, which helps you get access to your total soul. The most important thing about Magician Salvation is that it's free field spell, like I mentioned earlier, but also for Tamias, because once you activate Salvation, you can either send it to the graveyard using Magician Souls to draw one, or you can send this card to the graveyard to special summon Tamias from your hand, uh, which is so, so good, right? But regardless, it's also an extender because if you revive back Dark Magician, you're always going to be able to revive back Dark Magician Girl from your graveyard as well. So Salvation is really nice. Uh, next off for your fusion spells, we're going to play Secrets of Dark Magic. Uh, it gets you access to the Ritual Summoning and also Fusion Summoning. And it's Quick Play, which can help you get access to OTKs during the battle phase, which is absolutely phenomenal. Next, the one Red Eyes Fusion. Only one copy of Red Eyes Fusion is all you need for this specific variation of Dark Magician. Before, I used to play three. But now, since the deck is so consistent, you're always going to have access to Dragoon with absolutely ease. And Red Eyes Fusion is obviously one of those restrictions that locks you out from doing anything for the rest of the turn. So the Red Eyes Fusion is going to be one of those cards that you're only going to use with Predator Plan Anaconda. And with the deck right here with Tamias, you can always get access to Dragoon without having to utilize Red Eyes Fusion. And last but not least, you're going to play the one Magical Eyes Fusion, uh, which is the Miracle Fusion for Spellcasters. One is all you need, in my opinion. And of course, Red Anaconda can also get access to this if the card lives, right? So that's pretty much it. We have three Fusion spells in the deck. Next off, for your traps, we're going to play, of course, two copies of eternal souls only two copies is all you need fun fact soul server can also stack this card from a graveyard to the top of your deck so you don't need three copies of eternal soul anymore and salvation can also search this card too so only two copies is needed the main thing is that it gets you access to dark magician every single turn and also and also at the same time triggering off your circle to get interruptions during other players turn so eternal soul is amazing next off for your trap lineup the most important trap that i'm playing the deck is triple copies of psalm strike uh, this card is absolutely insane. My deck is a going first deck, but it's also one of those decks that can go second. I'm not playing any hand traps in the deck because I feel like with this format, hand traps don't trade really well. A lot of decks can play through like one ash and things like that. So I feel like traps are just overall more powerful. So Solemn Strike is really great in addition to Skill Drain. All right, guys. So while going second, you have literally six cards right here to help break your opponent's board. So what it does is that you act one of your trap cards, chain skill drain, act one of your trap cards, chain Psalm strike, you win the entire duel. You can easily break boards while going second with these great trap cards right here. And skill drain in the format is just absolutely powerful. I recommend you guys playing three copies of this card in your deck because with skill drain, literally all you gotta do is sit on eternal soul and summon dark magician every single turn. So that way it's skill drain and magical circle turbo to help interrupt your opponent. Skill Drain doesn't hurt your deck at all. It might hurt Dragoon, but your strategy is going to be obviously a little bit different once Skill Drain resolves. 
your opponent's gonna lose a duel while you just control the board with dark magician 2500 beat stick which can revive itself with each other so every turn and while you do that you get to banish cards off circle right so these cards are absolutely powerful and in addition to these cards right here these are like your chainable cards to your trap cards so that way that your powerful trap cards trigger so skill drain and solemn strike combining itself off with torrential tribute is absolutely insane it's a cool second you have torrential skill drain like you win the duel like torrential solemn strike with dragoon you win the duel your opponent tries to do anything you, you they normal summon something you activate torrential they try to use griffin rider or any negate Sol solemn strike everything resolves your opponent's entire board is now broken this is these two card combos with torrential skill drain or torrential solemn strike is way more powerful than just drawing ash blossom you know what i'm saying like ash is not going to do anything in this format man the amount of cards and decks that can extend themselves ash blossom one for one trades aren't worth anymore so same thing with ice dragon prison this card right here is so powerful it's a board breaker card as well so solemn strike ice dragon you win the duel and last but not least i'm playing this new trap card called get out uh a lot of Hand on my players out there get out what's so powerful it's essentially another trench tribute but for extra deck monsters and what it does is that target two monster opponent controls that were special from the extra deck so you can target two of them uh doesn't matter what you target dpe or you can target rusty just two cards uh obviously they're going to negate it with griffin rider or any other negates and then you change skill drain and then you break your opponent's entire board right or you can just go get out they, they try to negate solemn strike your opponent loses their entire board right so get out it's so so powerful and I feel like in a format where a lot of decks are extra deck reliant, Get Out becomes absolutely insane. And it's just an additional board breaker cards that you can play in addition to your torrential tribute, right? So a lot of trap cards in the deck. Your main goal is to draw one of these cards right here with one of your negate cards. So that way you can help break boards while going second. While going first, Dragoon set five pass. Like you're not losing to that, all right? And I'll showcase you guys a bread and butter combo. We can actually protect your back row as well from cards like Lightning Storm, which I'll showcase you guys in a second so that's pretty much for your trap lineup you guys can play whatever you guys like but i feel like the heavier trap lineup the better i would 100 percent prefer this over hand traps any day all right guys off to our extra deck real quick you know play of course double copies of red eyes dark dragoon obviously really really standard the best card in the game right now really happy that this card is not banned here in the tcg next the one copy of dark magicians very standard the one dark magician the dragon knight this card is absolutely mandatory to play in this deck you can actually make this card going first to help protect your back rolls from cards like lightning storm which is great and last but not least you want to play the one master of chaos you can easily get access to this with magicalized fusion you can also use magician souls send illusion of chaos to the graveyard so that way you can get access to this card much faster what it does is that if this card is fusion something you can target one light or dark monster in your graveyard special summon it you tribute one light and one dark monster banish all monster point controls doesn't target uh which is absolutely insane it's, it is a cost of tribute too so I'm pretty sure if you go Master of Chaos, Tribute, a Light and Dark, and then they try to negate it, you chain Skill Drain, you wipe your opponent's entire board anyways, uh, which is absolutely ridiculous. These are the five main fusions you want to play uh, in your deck. Next off, for your links, the IP Master Arena. Really great card to get access to Unicorn play. Birthday! Really good. Unicorn, uh, Phoenix, obviously. Link Spider, really great. And of course, the Link Rebo. Uh, Celine, access code. Very standard to play in any magician based deck so the access code last but not least for xc you're gonna play Iman illusion magician and of course the one number 11 the guy drawn off for the extra deck that you're playing for this deck so that's pretty much it guys for the deck let's go on to some of the crazy combos that you guys might want to utilize when it comes to playing this deck competitively let's do it all right guys i'm gonna showcase you guys two bread and butter combo plays that you want to focus on when it comes to playing the new dark magician based deck so first combo will be utilizing illusion of chaos and also with magician souls and i'll showcase you guys another crazy cool combo you guys can also utilize in the other combo as well before we dive straight in guys tomorrow is the battle of chaos live box break i have a very limited spots left so make sure you guys get your box breaks today in the link down below before it's too late also at the same time guys the valentine's day deck box is dropping in one of the most beautiful deck boxes i've ever release tomorrow night as well during the box break 9 p.m est so guys save the date and i'll see you guys tomorrow on the live box break so what can you do with illusion of chaos and magician soul so first and foremost the deck revolves around rod and souls these two cards are the bread and butter starters that you want to focus on when it comes to you playing this deck okay so illusion of chaos means that it's either a rod or it's either a souls all right in this situation where you're only utilizing two cards that are in your hand so 
Illusion of Chaos, since you have Magician Souls, you can search Rod. But if you have Rod and you have Chaos, you can search Magician Souls, right? So you go Illusion of Chaos, reveal itself. You get to search. You get to search Magician's Rod directly from your deck to your hand. And then you put Illusion of Chaos back to the top of your deck. Okay. Now what you're going to do is very simple. You're going to activate Magician Souls. Okay. Cost to dump Dark Magician Girl to the graveyard. Okay. Special Magician Souls right here. And now what you do next, you're going to normal summon Magician's Rod. You're going to activate Rod's effect. You're going to search Soul Servant directly from your deck into your hand. And now what you do next is really simple. You're going to you're gonna link these two cards to the graveyard. You're going to special summon, of course, Predator Plant, Verde Anaconda. Very standard. And now what you do next is that you are going to activate Verde Anaconda's effect. You're going to dump Red Eyes and, of course, Dark Magician to the graveyard. Summon your Red Eyes and Dark Dragoons, uh, which is really good. And it's two-card combo, by the way. Now you get to activate your Soul Servant that's in your hand. You basically get to stack whatever card you're missing. If you have Circle already, you want to stack ways to get access into your eternal soul so you can obviously search your magician salvation if you already have circle if you have ways to get access to eternal soul you would obviously search circle at that point it just depends on the cards that you have in your hand right but for this situation right here you want to have ways of arriving cards from your graveyard so what i would do is i would actually search salvation if these are the only two cards i'm starting off with right so i'll just activate soul servant put salvation to the top of my deck okay and now since I, of course, have Dark Magician and Dark Magician Girl both in my graveyard. I can banish Soul Servant from the grave to draw two cards, okay? So I'm going to draw into the Salvation that I stacked. And then this is going to be the one unknown, okay, that I draw off the Salvation, right? So obviously, you're not going to draw Illusion of Chaos because you get to basically dump uh, Dark Magician Girl to the graveyard. So Illusion of Chaos will be shuffled into your deck. So it will not remain on the top of your deck, unfortunately. And you kind of don't want to try it anyways, right? So this could be any random card. You go with Salvation activate this card right here you basically get to set eternal soul to side of the field and then this should be your end board right here so it'll be one random card in hand you have salvation and you have souls and then also this can be anything alongside three other cards that are in your opening hand right so you start off with uh souls and illusion you have three other cards in hand and you drew one additional well you drew two cards uh and the one additional is going to be unknown because one card you know that you stacked right so this is going to be your end board right here uh, which is absolutely insane on your opponent's turn if you have like if you have right here dark magical circle on the field right here this board is literally complete it's like literally the god board because on your opponent's turn if you do have this uh, dark magical circle will be another interruption right so you, you can actually turn soul revive back uh dark magician from the graveyard uh this triggers off souls and also triggers off salvation salvation will also get a special dark magician girl from your grave and at this point you can also trigger off rod's effect uh which is insane to attribute dark magician girl to add rod back into your hand uh which is ridiculous and literally this should be your hand uh right here going into your turn and you're just going to draw one card for turn right with rod in your hand as well so the countless follow-ups are insane with this deck if you have verde anaconda again you can get access to of course cards like master of chaos you can get access to this like there are so many different cards you can get access to when it comes to the following turn right and like master of chaos is going to be so good especially if you have illusion of chaos in your hand or you can go stack soul servant so you can stack another magician souls to dump illusion to the graveyard there are so many different ways to get access into you know like master of chaos like on the following turn if you guys want to know how we can do that is very simple is that next turn you can just go magician's rod right uh you can go activate soul servant uh, you know you search soul servant activate soul servant you can stack uh you can stack magician souls to the top of your deck and then since you have dark magician dark magician girl on the field you can banish soul servant you're drawing two cards one and two and literally the follow-ups is goes like you go magician souls special with itself by sending illusion and chaos uh to the graveyard right here and there are so many different other combos you can go towards like you know like literally you can go even just like these two right here you can go into like phoenix you know like pop a card and then you can go or just rod into unicorn and then pop a card and oh my god like like you know bounce a card you can go dark magical circle uh revive back dark magician from the grave uh activate circle banish a card uh that's like you already popped two cards at this point dragoon also pops uh, which is pretty nasty and you can just go these two right here into access code and literally just just more pops you're popping so many cards uh, at this point and then you can go verte 
activates effect. You can banish Dark Magician and also Illusion uh, from your graveyard. Okay, you know, into sending Magical Lies to the graveyard, into summoning Master of Chaos right here. And these are the amount of cards you still have in your hand. And you probably just popped over 10 cards at this point. And this is just like a follow up plays that you can just do with this deck right here, right? So there are so many different countless plays you can have access to in this deck, but you guys see the potential of the follow ups that this deck does have and with the amount of cards that you still have in your hand, uh, which is pretty nasty. So that's pretty much it for the bread and butter two card combo with potential follow ups on the following turn. Let's showcase you guys a god combo which you can utilize in this deck. All right, guys, there are going to be some combo hands where you have all three of these cards in your hand, right? So if you open up with a two card combo with Illusion of Chaos, this is like probably like a God end board that you want to focus on in this deck right here. So you want to go Illusion of Chaos, reveal itself. You're going to search Tamias directly from your deck to your hand. You're going to put Illusion of Chaos back to the top of your deck. You're going to go Magician Soul's Effect. You're going to dump Dark Magician to send itself to the graveyard to special summon, of course, Dark Magician to your side of the field. Next, you're going to normal summon your Magician's Rod, activate Rod's effect. You're going to search Salvation directly from your deck to your hand. Now you get to trigger off Salvation, okay? Activate this card. You're going to set Eternal Soul to your side of the field, which is very standard. Now you next, you're going to use Tamaya's effect since it's a free card. You're going to send to the graveyard. So I'll send this to the grave, special summon Tamias. And now what you can do, uh, like you can use Tamias, just fusion these cards into Dragoon. But I feel like this is not productive, right? Like you can do that if you want, but I feel like this isn't the best route, but you do have access to Dragoon without going to Verte. But what you want to do is that you want to activate Tamias to use Dark Magician and of course Tamias to fusion summon into Dark Magician, the Dragon Knight. All right, this card's amazing. If you guys do not know, this card's name becomes Dark Magician while on the field or in the graveyard. So you can revive this card with Eternal Soul. Also at the same time, it triggers off your Dark Magical Circle as well because when it comes on the field, it is a Dark Magician, right? And now what you're gonna do is that using these two cards, you're gonna make Verde Anaconda. Now you're gonna activate Verde Anaconda to send Dark Magician and of course your Red Eyes to the graveyard. And this is your end board right here. You have Verde, Dragoon, and you also have Eternal Soul to revive back, of course, the Dark Magician, the Dragon Knight uh, from your graveyard, which is really great. And what does this mean? This card protects your Eternal Soul from ever getting destroyed. And you have two other cards in your hand. So imagine you just have like Strike and Ice Dragon at this point. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like you like you have this to just interrupt your opponent's entire board, right? If you have Circle or you have Servant, you can just draw X, uh, you can just draw more cards. But this is ideally one of those combos that get you access to Dragon Knight and also Dragoon on the very first turn while protecting your back rolls from, you know, cards like Lightning Storm and things like that. So this is kind of like the main bread and butter combo when it comes to utilizing those three cards. The access to these two cards are insane. And having Circle on the field too at this point, is just so devastating guys so and dragoon in this card is just so so great all right guys so that's pretty much it for the combo i really hope you guys enjoyed if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button that'll be absolutely phenomenal let me know your thoughts about these combos and yeah guys enjoy this deck have fun with this deck i feel like this is just one of the most competitive ways to play dark magician right now and the deck is just absolutely powerful so guys thank you guys so much for watching I love you guys so much. And it's your boy Sam from TV Channel Sam signing out. I'll see you guys tomorrow for the live box break. Make sure you guys get your box break in the link in the description box below. All right, guys. Peace.